The 2021 Honda Rebel 1100 Honda swings for the fences with its new for 2021 Rebel 1100 taking its place at the head of the Rebel family. A prime candidate for both the entry-level riders and ones looking for their first upgrade, the biggest Rebel's engine comes out of the globetrotting Africa twin. Ride control and safety electronics come off the top shelf and it comes in a choice between a standard transmission and Honda's DCT gearbox that delivers automatic transmission functionality. This new ride rolls for less than $10,000 to cement its status as a contender in the US cruiser market. 2021 Honda Rebel 1100 Design A few years ago, Honda set the stage when it reimagined its venerable Rebel line from the ground up with new frame geometry and a look that bears little resemblance to the design that made the Rebel a household name. To be fair, the original was clearly an attempt to capitalize on the popularity of American-style cruisers, and it's safe to say, job done, as you'd be hard-pressed to name a bike with a more fervent cult following. So, you could say the factory took a risk when it redesigned its rebellious one, and a rather large risk at that. The Rebel 1100 is the logical, midsize evolution of its, 300, and, 500, siblings with clear DNA markers throughout. A slightly bobbed front fender leads the way between blackout forks. The somewhat sinister darkness continues onto the triple tree, frame, engine, exhaust, and swing arm in a nod to custom culture that is reinforced by the bobbed rear fender. A low-slung solo saddle rests your Junicakes at 27.5 inches off the deck combing with a short-rise handlebar and mid-mount foot controls to deliver a relaxed, upright riding posture. Not only does this rider's triangle make it easy to stay in the saddle for long rides, but since the footpegs place your heels under your knees, you can slide side to side a bit for some limited body English in the curves. While the stock bike is fairly bare, the factory offers a robust line of accessories that let you dress it down further yet, or dress it up for cruising comfort and convenience. For visibility, the Rebel 1100 splits the night with a 4-projector LED headlight, and since all of the other lighting is LED, you can count on seeing and being seen. 2021 Honda Rebel 1100 Chassis An exposed, tubular trellis frame provides the main structure and lends even more antique sweetness with upper members that bring to mind the geometry of the old hardtails. Backswept, nitrogen-charged rear shocks and optional passenger peg standoffs follow almost the same lines to give the 1100 a rigid esque look, at least at a distance. The steering head establishes a rake angle of 28 degrees with 4.3 inches of trail over a 59.8 inch wheelbase for 35 degrees of lean to each side to give the 1100 an eagerness in the corners that we usually don't find in the cruiser category. You can expect 3.7 inches of travel in the rear shocks, opposite 4.8 inches of travel in the RWU front forks for a fairly plush ride. Cast rims round out the rolling chassis with a 130 minus 18 and 180 minus 16 on the front and rear respectively. At 487 pounds soaking wet, the Rebel 1100 falls toward the lighter end of the weight range so the single, 330mm disc and 4-pot caliper up front is plenty to provide the bulk of the stopping power. Outback, a single piston anchor and 256mm disc take care of business, and all-around abs comes with the stock equipment package. 2021 Honda Rebel 1100 Drivetrain Honda powers its newest Rebel with a retuned version of the same engine that drives the proven Africa Twin. It sports revised timing in the SOHC valve train altered ignition timing, and a beefed-up flywheel with 20% more mass and 31% more inertia that helps with the low down grunt. A liquid-cooled parallel twin mill, it mounts in the frame with a jaunty 22.5-degree forward cant and sports a 92mm bore and 81.5mm stroke for a total displacement of 1,084cc and 10 to 1 compression ratio that'll call for at least mid-grade fuel or an octane additive to prevent knock-pink dieseling. The 270-degree firing order gives it an attractive lope at idle and smooth power at the upper rev range. A ride-by-wire throttle transmits rider demand to the engine after it washes through the filter that is the Honda selectable torque control. The HSTC prevents spin-out at the rear wheel, 
plus there's a quartet of power delivery profiles, three pre-programmed and one that's user tunable, for total power control, and a wheelie control that helps prevent moonshots when you come out of the hole. What kind of power you ask? Well, the Rebel 1100 cranks out 86 horsepower at 7000 revolutions per minute with 72 pound-feet of torque at 4750 revolutions per minute. This gives it 0.175 horsepower per pound that will hold you in good stead against the general US cruiser category. A six-speed manual transmission is the stock drivetrain configuration, but if you prefer a simpler riding experience the dual-clutch transmission option might be for you. Use the switches on the handlebar to shift up and down the range, or put it on full auto for twist and go operation. 2021 Honda Rebel 1100 Price Honda wants $9,299 for its base Rebel 1100 in metallic black or Bordeaux red metallic. If you spring for the DCT, you can expect to spend $9,999. No matter which you choose, you're getting a lot of bike for just under the $10,000 mark. 2021 Honda Rebel 1100 Competitors the Rebel line has always been all about the American-style cruiser look, so it seems fair to see how it stacks up against the genuine. With that in mind, I went straight to the Harley-Davidson Motor Company for its Iron 1200 from the Sportster lineup. Harley-Davidson Iron 1200 Like the Rebel 1100, the Iron 1200 sports liberal blackout treatment and numerous classic custom references to deliver an old-school look with bobbed fenders, bullet fairing, and classic teardrop fuel tank. A stock solo seat breaks even with the Rebel's seating capacity, though you can easily add a P-pad and some passenger footpegs if you like to share the fun with a friend. Honda is alone in the higher electronics to leave the Sportster with optional abs as the only safety electronics. HD powers its entry with a proven V-twin that's based on the Evolution engine first rolled in 1986. The air-cooled mill churns out 73 pound-feet of torque at 3,500 revolutions per minute for a razor-thin advantage in grunt numbers, but only offers 5 speeds in its gearbox and has no answer for Honda's DCT package and electronics suite. To compound Harley's woes, the Vivid Black Iron 1200 starts at $9,999 MSRP, ABS is a $795 option and the color upgrades bumps the price up to $10,349 which leaves Honda looking pretty good at checkout. He said. Let me just say that I really like this bike. I have fond memories of my old Rebel 450, and while the Rebel 300 500s was kind of cool, the 1100 is a proper midsize motorcycle. Its weight makes it friendly at stops, and its low seat provides plenty of leverage so you can be confident when you put your feet down. Plus, the DCT makes this bike available to riders who need, want that twist and go operation. She said. My wife and fellow motorcycle rider, Alan Hinton, says, my initial reaction to the new Rebel was, oh wow, and I really haven't seen anything to make me think otherwise. It has the same charm as the smaller displacement Rebels we've known and loved, and it has the awesome performance of the Africa twin engine. The electronics package you get is really nice for a bike under $10,000. 2021 Honda Rebel 1100 Specifications if you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.